students. Today we will be studying histology of GIT of small intestine part 2. In the video in part 1 we have studied the general features of histology of small intestine and we saw one important slide and that was of histology of duodenum. In today's video we will be studying the histology of jejunum and ileum and we will also see the difference between the three slides. So let us first see a quick review on histology of duodenum. Mucosa in duodenum showed plicae circularis. It showed numerous tongue shaped villi. Epithelium, the villi were lined by simple columnar epithelium with few goblet cells. Microvilli were also seen giving rise to the striated border like appearance. We also saw there the intestinal glands or crypts of Liberkuhn. These are short tubular glands formed by invagination of bases of crypts in lamina propria. Muscularis mucosae showed two layers, inner circular and outer longitudinal layers of smooth muscle cells. Submucosa showed the characteristic feature that is the Brunner's glands. These were highly branched tubulo acinar mucus secreting glands. Muscularis externa showed inner circular and outer longitudinally arranged smooth muscle layers. Cirrhosa or adventitia, most of the duodenum was covered by connective tissue that is adventitia except for a small part that is the first 5 to 6 centimeters that was covered by peritoneum and was called as cirrhosa. This was the diagram which we had studied. Histology of duodenum showing mucosa, the lining epithelium, simple columnar epithelium with few goblet cells, lamina propria showing the crypts of Liberkuhn and muscularis mucosae. Next was the submucosa showing the characteristic presence of the Brunner's glands. Muscularis externa showing inner circular and outer longitudinal layers and finally the cirrhosa or adventitia. This was the H&E stain slide, low power view, showing tongue shaped villi, muscularis mucosae, submucosa showing Brinner's glands, muscularis externa and cirrhosa or adventitia. A high power view showing us the tongue shaped villi and the Brunner's glands in the submucosa. The salient features for spotting for a slide of histology of duodenum transverse section were presence of numerous tongue shaped villi, presence of crypts of Liberkuhn, and presence of Brunner's glands in the submucosa. After this quick review of histology of duodenum, let us now go on to histology of jejunum. This is the middle part of the small intestine measuring approximately 2.5 meters in length. The wall of jejunum has four layers from within outwards, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa and cirrhosa. Mucosa. This shows plica circularis. These are permanent circular folds having a core of submucosa. Villi here are finger-like villi these are mucosal projections having a core of lamina propria. Epithelial lining, microvilli, intestinal glands and muscularis mucosae are same as that are seen in duodenum. Submucosa consists of connective tissue, blood vessels, Meissner's plexus and lymphatics. Brunner's glands and Peer's patches are absent. Brunner's glands are characteristic features of duodenum, while Peer's patches are characteristic features of ileum. Both these are absent in histology of jejunum. What we see here is a diagram showing histology of jejunum. We see here the mucosa showing lining epithelium, simple columnar epithelium with goblet cells and what we see here are finger like villi. 
We also see the intestinal glands or crypts of liver cone. And we see the muscularis mucosae having inner circular and outer longitudinal layers of smooth muscle fibers. We also see here the submucosa which has connective tissue with blood vessels, adipocytes, mesner's plexus and lymphatics. Muscularis externa. This has inner circular and outer longitudinal smooth muscle layers. And outermost is the serosa. Jejunum is covered by a layer of peritoneum that is mesothelium thus showing presence of serosa. What we see here is the muscularis externa showing inner circular and outer longitudinally arranged smooth muscle fibers and the outermost layer is the serosa having connective tissue, blood vessels, adipocytes and nerve fibers. Kindly note here, jejunum has larger diameter, thicker wall and numerous large plicate circularis and larger villi as compared to ileum. This we see a low power view of an HNE stain slide of histology of jejunum. What we see here are the villi, finger like villi. What we see lower down is the intestinal glands or crypts of liver cone, the muscularis mucosae, the submucosa having connective tissue, the muscularis externa and serosa. A hyper view of the same showing the villi, finger like villi, lining of the villi being simple columnar epithelium with goblet cells. This is an epidio image scope picture of histology of jejunum. What we see here are finger like villi. Lower down we see the intestinal glands or crypts of liver cone, the muscularis mucosae, the submucosa, muscularis externa showing the two layers inner circular and outer longitudinal and finally we see the serosa. The salient features for histology of jejunum transverse section are presence of tall finger like villi lined by simple columnar epithelium with goblet cells, absence of Brunner's glands in submucosa and absence of Peyer's patches in the mucosa. We now go on to study histology of ileum. Ileum is the distal part of small intestine. It opens into the cecum at the ileocecal junction and its length is approximately 3.5 meters. Histology of ileum, the wall of ileum has four layers from within outwards, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa and serosa. Mucosa shows plica circularis. These are permanent circular folds having a core of submucosa. These are spares in ileum and even absent in the terminal part of ileum. Will I hear only few short, thin, slender, leaf-like villi are present. Lining epithelium, simple columnar epithelium with striated border due to presence of microvilli and goblet cells. M cells are present in the epithelium that overlies the pears patches. The number of goblet cells seen in the lining epithelium of the villi goes on increasing gradually from duodenum through jejunum up to the ileum. What we see here is a diagram of histology of ileum. This here is the mucosa which shows lining epithelium, simple columnar epithelium with numerous goblet cells. Lamina propria showing intestinal glands or crypts of liver cone. And in the lower part of the mucosa, 
we see the pairs patches which are the characteristic features of histology of ileum and lowermost we see the muscularis mucosae lamina propria contains intestinal glands and pears patches muscularis mucosae is thin and even absent at the site of a large pears patch now let us see what are these pears patches these are organized lymphatic nodules seen in the lamina propria of the terminal part of ileum these are aggregations of lymphatic follicles at many places these cross the muscularis mucosae and extend into the submucosa and they are found along the antimesenteric border of the ileum pears patches form a part of the gut associated lymphatic tissue or the gallt and m cells are columnar epithelial cells that overlie the pears patches they present bacterial antigens to immune cells functions pears patches help to maintain normal bacterial intestinal flora and prevent infections the features of submucosa muscularis externa and serosa of ileum are same as that seen in duodenum or jejunum this we see again a diagram of histology of ileum these what we see here in the lower part of the mucosa are the pears patches some of the lymphoid aggregates can also pass through the muscularis mucosae and go up to the submucosa what we see here is a muscularis mucosae showing inner circular and outer longitudinal layers of smooth muscle fibers next we see the submucosa which is made up of connective tissue blood vessels adipocytes mesner's plexus and a few lymphatics next we see the muscularis externa having inner circular and outer longitudinally arranged smooth muscle fibers and outermost is the serosa made up of connective tissue blood vessels adipocytes and nerve fibers this is an hne stain slide of histology of ileum where under low power we can see the presence of villi thin short slender leaf like villi also seen here are the intestinal glands and the lower part of the mucosa we see the lymphoid aggregates and those are the pears patches we also see the muscularis mucosae the submucosa muscularis externa showing the two layers inner circular and outer longitudinal layer of smooth muscle fibers and finally the serosa the striking feature here is the pears patches lymphoid aggregates which are seen in the lower part of the mucosa a hyper view of the same showing you the short slender leaf like villi aggregates of lymphoid tissue which are the pears patches in the lower part of the mucosa muscularis mucosae the submucosa and the muscularis externa and serosa another hyper view showing us the villi and the lymphatic aggregations and those are the pears patches lymphatic follicles lymphoid aggregations the pears patches characteristic feature of histology of ileum an epidio image scope picture of histology of ileum showing us the villi short thin slender leaf like villi the lower part we see intestinal glands or crypts of leberkun lower part of mucosa showing the lymphoid aggregations lymphatic nodules that is the pears patches characteristic feature of the ileum and below that we see the muscularis mucosae a very thin layer of muscularis mucosae submucosa muscularis externa 
and outermost is the cirrhosa. The salient features for spotting for a slide of histology of ileum transverse section will be presence of a few short, thin, slender, leaf-like villi rich in goblet cells, presence of crypts of Liverpool, and presence of mucosa containing pears patches. Now we have studied all the three slides of histology of small intestine, that is geodenum, jejunum, and ileum. So let us now see how to differentiate between the three. If we see the epithelium, lining epithelium of the villi in duodenum is columnar epithelium with striated border having very few goblet cells. In jejunum, it is columnar epithelium with goblet cells and columnar cells show striated border due to presence of microvilli. In ileum, the epithelium is the same but the number of goblet cells is more. So if we compare the amount of goblet cells, very few goblet cells in the geodenum, moderate number of goblet cells in jejunum and numerous goblet cells in ileum. When we see the villi, in geodenum there are numerous tongue shaped closely packed villi, jejunum shows tall finger shaped villi and ileum shows very few short, thin, slender, leaf-shaped villi. When we look at the lamina propria, geodenum contains sections of crypts of Liverpool, segregated lymphocytes and loose connective tissue. Jejunum contains sections of crypts of Liverpool, diffuse infiltration of lymphocytes, while in ileum, Lamina propria contains sections of crypts of Liverpool, lymphocytes aggregated to form nodules of pears patches which break through the muscularis mucosae into the submucosa. And when we study the submucosa, in duodenum, submucosa contains mucus secreting Brunner's glands which is characteristic feature. Jejunum, submucosa contains connective tissue with blood vessels and nerve endings and in ileum it may contain pears patches. Thus we have studied the three slides of small intestine, geodenum, jejunum and ileum and we also saw how to differentiate between the two. Most important characteristic feature of geodenum is Brunner's glands seen in the submucosa and characteristic feature of ileum is the pierced patches which are seen in the lower part of mucosa which may pass through the muscularis mucosae and also be seen in the submucosa. Just to sum up, let us see the features of differentiating between the three in the hand drawn picture. So when we see the villi, we see tongue shaped villi in duodenum, finger like villi in jejunum and leaf like villi in the ileum. When we study the lining epithelium, number of goblet cells very few in duodenum, moderately present in jejunum and numerous goblet cells in the ileum. In the mucosa, pierce patches characteristic feature in the lower part of mucosa in ileum. Submucosa, Brunner's gland seen as characteristic features in the duodenum. Features of muscularis externa and cirrhosa are same in the three. For further reference, you can read Sontake Yogesh, Textbook of Human Histology by CBS Publishers and Distributors Private Limited, New Delhi, 2020, page numbers 214 to 270. Thank you.